field now in the hands of William Sawalich and Will Kimmel as we get set to loop around the DeCoin State Fairgrounds for 100 laps. The Southern Illinois 100 is underway. You can see cars struggling for grip already. Look at Jesse Love trying to make a move to the outside of Will Kimmel. Love trying to work that high side there to move up from that fourth starting position. He got up where we didn't see all that slicked off blue groove, if you will, from qualifying. He's up to third. Now looking outside of his teammate, Brett Cruz, as Sawalich opens up about a three-car length lead to three. See that red car, Will Kimmel, falls back to the fourth spot. Andres Perez, who had his best career finish here at Springfield in the Arkham and Art Series, right now running fifth. We're going to the commercial break. We saw Jesse Love pulling the inside of Will Kimmel. That was to take over the third position. And then he made quick work of catching up to Brent Cruz, and you see him getting by that Yahoo Toyota number 25 to move him into the second spot. Now he's got a big drive off four and looks low for the top spot in turn one does love. He's gonna put some walls to the outside. Not as much grip on the outside right now. Jesse Love's gonna easily take that lead. Sorry, Phil, Sean Core spins right in front of the front runners. What a great job Sean did at a 360, got out of the leader's way. See Miller Welding on board that eight car. Such a good run going at Springfield a couple of races ago. Started from the front row, unfortunately had a mechanical issue, only ran about 30 laps, but uh, nice, nice save there by, by Sean in that 360. 70 to go and about 30 until our first scheduled race break. Here we go as we get set to get back underway. Love and Sawalich lead us back down. We'll see how Sawalich can fare on the outside. Looks like a huge disadvantage. You see Brent Cruz able to grab that second spot from the inside. Now Perez is trying to grab third. But Tim Monroe has spun just as we were talking about him running in the sixth spot. Tim was having a great run. His best career finishes have come right here at DeCoin. Sixth and the seventh, his last two starts here. Tim runs the full schedule on the East Series. He's in the top five in points. And that series looks like his car will not refire. You see Weatherman also involved. His car will not refire as well. Weatherman could have just stopped in the car not refire. Ironically, two of the cars that are out of the fast track racing stable as Tim Monroe, who is one of the full time employees over at the fast track team, said he really looked forward to getting a chance to get back on the dirt. He said Springfield's actually considered his home track, but the coin is still about three hours away from his hometown. And he's typically the hauler driver for fast track, helps set up all the cars. And unfortunately, he appears to have gone around from a top 10 starting position. And Weatherman appears that he is going to need a push to get back to the pit area. See, there's Jesse Love on the outside. And again, the 25 of Brent Cruz is just going to ease up enough to let Jesse Love down in front of him. I think that's a great move. Good, smart team play right there. Phil, would that qualify as a potential sweet move, perhaps? That's, 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 that may be a sour move. No. <laughs> he laps learning a little bit about it as he looks like he's going to spin. Hang Narani with a big slide there and turns one and two. Two cars are able to get by cleanly, and the caution will fly with 49 laps complete. We knew the race break was on the horizon. Hang Narani may have drawn it one lap too soon, and this will be the race break. Hang Narani fortunate not to get hit by any of the cars that were trying to come by. And he also stays on the lead lap, so. Good move getting that car refired and turned around. Race leader Jesse Love and Arkham and Art Series points leader in the 20 on the outside. And Brent Cruz vying for that performance C dirt double in the number 25 to the inside. Here we go, 47 laps to settle. The Southern Illinois 100 from the coin. Jesse Love brings him down for the restart. We're back underway. Watch him drive down in front of Brent Cruz. Nice choreographed move there, you see. Good battles back side by side for fourth right now. Sawalich gets hung on the outside. He may lose a spot to Will Kimmel. Ooh, spin. Sean Korf. Oh, and Frankie Munez and Sean Hagnarani pound the wall. Fourth caution of the night. And this is the first with significant contact. And just as we were singing the praises of Frankie Munez, who was running in the top 10, 
he, Hang Narani, and Sean Kaur get wadded up in turn three. Yeah, all three of these cars are battling right inside the top 10, if not top 10, top 11, on the lead lap. You see Hang Narani able to drive away. You see Frankie get his car refired. He's going to be able to drive away as well. As we see, the lights are out atop the pace car. We're going to get set to come back to the restart. Last couple of times, we've seen the leader in Jesse Love in a 20 and Brent Cruz in a 25 restart like this. There's been a collaboration amongst the two to get single file to turn one. 40 laps to go from the coin. And we're going to see it again, Brent. We're going to see it each time. I just think it's really smart racing. Will Kimmel trying to get to the inside of Andres Perez to make that bottom lane work for third. Caution. Caution. Just as we saw Sawalich kind of hop his way through one of the bumps, Tim Monroe has his second problem of the night. He was running up in the eighth spot. Tim was able to get the car refired, but he was certainly in a precarious position. Arc officials had to throw the caution flag. As you mentioned, single file restart going to be a little bit different for Jesse Love. Five laps left to decide the Southern Illinois 100 from the coin. Jesse Love and Brent Cruz locked together as they hit the restart zone. We are back underway. Love quickly protects the bottom single file to turn one. Nice restart by Jesse Love, but he cannot shake Brent Cruz. Will Kimmel right there as well. Cruz got a good drive off turn two. Not enough to draw even with Love for the top spot at the moment. Remember, these two battled for the lead late in the going at Springfield. Cruz got the edge that day. What's going to happen tonight? And another caution flag. Sixth time tonight we have seen the yellow flag, and unfortunately, half of them have involved the 12 car of Tim Monroe. 12 of Tim Monroe and the 32 of Christian Rose were battling for the seventh position. Not sure if there was any contact or not. The time is now. Jesse Love looking for win number nine. Brent Cruz looking for win number two. And the performance seed dirt double bonus. Will Kimmel looking for his first win ever. Here we go to settle the Southern Illinois 100 from DeCoin. Green and white are out. Good restart by Jesse Love. Just don't overdrive this corner. Look at Perez trying to move to the inside of Sawalich. Perez underneath the pole sitter Sawalich, who's sideways off the corner. Jesse Love a half a lap away from victory. Through the bump in turn three for the final time. Brent Cruz is going to come up one spot shy of that performance seed dirt double. He gave it all he had in the final corner, but Jesse Love wins his ninth race of 2023, and he does so on the dirt at the coin. How about Chief Shannon Rush? Ninth win.